Russia has reportedly begun construction of its next-generation PAC-DA stealth bomber as part of an apparent strategic effort to usher in a new era of stealth bombing technology. Moscow hopes to get ahead of the U.S. Air Force's emerging B-21 stealth bomber and China's H-20 strategic bomber. A report in the Russian news agency's TASS says the first prototype is expected to be finished by the end of next year. Later, more prototypes are slated to be ready for testing by April 2023, something which puts the bomber's production schedule on roughly the same anticipated time frame as the US B-21. Interestingly, its configuration seems to parallel elements of the US B-2 and emerging B-21 bombers, with some key differences. Of course, its horizontal blended wing body shape is to be expected for these kinds of stealthy platforms, yet available renderings of the pack da show rectangular shaped inlets aligned with or somewhat parallel to the top of the fuselage. While upon initial examination, more rectangular inlets may seem less stealthy than the more rounded inlets seen on the B-2, the Russian bomber seems to create a distinct horizontal line or clear linear configuration across the inlets and fuselage in a clear effort to reduce or eliminate and return radar signature potentially enabled by having peaks and valleys between the inlets and fuselage. Even if rounded, an indent or downward slope between the inlets and fuselage is decidedly less horizontal and potentially less stealthy. This might explain why the Air Force B-21S inlets are even more indented and rounded than the B-2, and the new B-21 bomber does have a smaller or more blended incline between the fuselage and wings. Granted, protruding configurations of any kind, if even rounded or covered in a radar-absorbing exterior, are more likely to generate some kind of radar ping return from ground-based air defense systems. Vertical structures and uneven contours are therefore more likely to generate radar returns, as electromagnetic pings will discern the differences in shape. The concept with these kinds of stealth bombers is to not only elude surveillance radar systems but also evade higher frequency, more precise engagement radar ensuring that the platform will not only be difficult or impossible to hit, but also remain completely undetected. The idea is for adversaries to not even know something is there. A stealthy platform can succeed by appearing as a bird or insect to enemy radar. The back of the pack da does appear somewhat analogous to early models of the B-21 in that there appears to be little or no protruding external exhaust or heat release area. Such a configuration does seem to suggest that perhaps some newer kind of internal heat dissipation or cooling technology has been discovered and applied as part of an effort to minimize heat signature. The PAC-DA is set to complement and eventually replace the older Tupolev 295 in Russia's Air Force service. According to the 2020 Izvestia report, three PAC-DA prototypes are expected to be ready for preliminary testing by April 2023, with the state tests to begin in February 2026. The aircraft is expected to enter serial production in 2027. Due to the ongoing modernization of Russia's current bomber fleet and massive purchases of upgraded to 160 minutes 2 seconds, it is believed that the Russian Defense Ministry will initially procure only a small number of PAC-DA bombers. Technical parameters of the PAC-DA include subsonic speed, 12,000 km operational range and a capability to continuously remain in the air for up to 30 hours while carrying both conventional and nuclear payloads up to 30 tons. The aircraft is expected to have a crew of four.